Hello, it's a stay with the reading for the collective. Take it resonates like the rest. Watch out for scammers in the comment section. Soliciting you for readings. That's not me. Really appreciate you all so, so much. Uh, my voice is cracking a little because the sa sage is in my throat. Um, I hope that everyone is doing well. I feel like there's anger. anger. Eight of Wands. Things are moving fast. Um, someone's falling in love. Some Somebody is... It's a vibration energy or someone wants to send a message. The tower. Okay. Someone's challenged by a tower. A revelation. A faulty foundation is falling down. Um, someone's getting a reality check. A revelation. King of Cups in the subconscious. A masculine energy who's good-hearted, control, controls, control, controlling their emotions. They could be shifty, a little shifty, because they've got a lot going on. Five of Wands, competition, group conflict um, in the recent past. The strength, somebody has to have strength for something, or someone, yeah, they're sort of moving towards someone that has strength, inner strength, balanced ego. High Priestess Reverse and King of Pentacles in the near future. That's a strange mix. Feminine Energy is very, um, or this King of Pentacles could be dealing with someone that's keeping a secret or has a hidden agenda. Um, comes across as spiritual, but really they're not. Or there's somebody that taps into lower vibrational spiritual practices to manipulate people or situations. Judgment. Somebody is looking at their life, seeing that the, they're awake, they've got to wake up, or they're dealing with someone that's, um, you know, this is a final call. They can tell that the universe has made its decision, or someone's facing a reckoning, or somebody um, has to take accountability. Ace of Cups reverse in the environment. Someone seems real empty inside, or... They don't love themselves, or there's no chance for a new beginning, or there's just, yeah, no love. Hopes and fears. Four of Swords reverse. Someone could be real sick. They're having trouble meditating or going within, or they can't relax. Um, they just need some time to relax. Two of Wands. Somebody's planning, making plans, getting courageous, figuring out a plan, um, an avenue to take, a road, the right road to take, getting the courage to do it. Um, yeah, mapping something out, carefully mapping something out, getting themselves, following their inspiration. Maybe they've got a couple choices. Um, death reverse. Someone here um, doesn't want something to end, or they see that something isn't ending for somebody. Eight of Wands, vibrations, something on online, um, something happening very quickly. Somebody, somebody falling in love. Um, someone sending a message. Um, but they're having a tower. Someone's having a tower. Because of a message. Tower moment. Just did a reading and everybody was having a tower. Mystic. Okay, it's vibrations. Somebody's up. Somebody's. Okay. Someone's spying on someone. Somebody wants to see. There's some, someone thinks very mechanistically. There's something about. They want to. Okay, this is a saboteur. I don't know if somebody's trying to see, look at someone online, or they're trying to watch someone and see something about energy. They're denying an emotional truth. Like, it's time to stop, or, you know, this is not the right way to go. Um, it feels like someone's angry, watching. Um... This is, they could be watching you. They could feel like you're, you're doing something or that you've got some type of spiritual practice that you're doing something. They're watching you. 
Um, thief. Okay. This is a thief that's watching you. Scribe, orphan, student, monk, nun, gossip. These are some of the similar cards that just came out. Someone wants to get back at you. Queen. Someone's real voyeuristic here. Queen, damsel, gossip. Father guide, weird energy, real stingy, someone's real stingy, they're watching you, they want to control you, there's definitely a karmic feminine energy, they hate your, um, there could be a masculine energy here that's some type of spiritual practitioner, it's trying to help this person, they, someone could be flirting with someone to get them to do what they want, or... Someone wants to control you. You could be an artist or someone that just thinks in a real abstract way. You, you think different. Um, you see things different. You formulate things in a unique way. You arrive, but different than the way other people do. People see you moving on. They want to know what you're doing. Someone's angry. Someone took a chance. They see you as this very angelic person that you freed yourself. You're very um, pure. There's someone here who feels um, in competition with you. This person's very pretentious. Um, yeah, they don't like their authority to be challenged. They don't like, um, they could be trying to get someone to advocate for them. Um, yeah, this person's a real energy drainer. They don't like that you um, are moving forward. They're very, very, very voyeuristic. And they, they have someone helping them. Um, yeah, well, there goes the lights. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a um, thief, saboteur. S this person is trying to steal something from you. Maybe it's your peace. Maybe it's what your next move is. This person could be trying to remote view or who knows what way. I think in your situation, you know, if you have a feeling you know, if you feel like you're in a fishbowl or something. Um, Alright. Turn the lights back on. It's hilarious. Okay, what do we need to know about these voyeuristic thieves? Something about energy. You're moving quickly. Or vibrations, it's your vibration. Someone maybe doesn't like your vibrations. It's giving them a tower. Eight of Wands. Wealthy man. It could be a wealthy man attracted to you or that you're in communication with. Expectation reverse. Or you're a masculine energy, things are moving quickly for you, you've got a lot of money coming, something worked out for you very well, or if it's not money, it's you're very rich in spirit. But I feel like I'm talking to, I mean, I, I'm not sure who I'm talking to. Um, I, I know that somebody here is watching someone very carefully and they're angry. Uh, and I feel like they're voyeuristic and I think there's like some masculine energy helping um, They feel angry or they want to they want to disturb your peace. It's making them angry They weren't expecting something tower expectation reverse Or there could be a message that someone got Or something about vibration Here um, king of cups and a subconscious mature man. There's another masculine energy here in the subconscious. Five of Wands, all these people are competing with you. Tension within this group. There's a whole group. Bad health. I don't know if they... They want you to not be well. Or they're not well.
probably want these people just to mind their own business, right? But they, death reverse, they don't, I don't know, strength. They feel like someone's going to have a lot of, yeah, change. Something's going to change for someone. Or there's, there could be someone here advocating for you. Someone else is having a tower. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why they're angry. Maybe it's this masculine energy here. Wealthy in spirit, a rich spirit, or very well to do, good at managing people. High Priestess Reverse, though. I feel like the King of Pentacles, this is this wealthy man in the near future. There's something about this wealthy man in the near future, and you've got this High Priestess Reverse trying to get involved. Unexpected Income Reverse. Maybe that's why they're having a tower. They're not getting something from this King of Pentacles. or This High Priestess Reverse is trying to get in, in the middle of something and they're angry. But I think they have another masculine energy or they have someone else that they're trying to get to do something for them. And it has to do with watching someone or something like that. Or trying to disturb someone's peace. They're real angry. They know that they're under judgment or there's somebody here waking up to something. Um, high Honor. Someone here is taking accountability. It's something about someone being respectful. There could also be a law enforcement involved here. Ace of Cups reverse. Someone doesn't love themselves. Poverty and the environment. Someone is broke and empty inside. And someone doesn't love them in the environment. And it's in the environment so people know what's going on. But someone's still up to no good. They're trying to get in someone's energy or something. Someone could be angry because you um, are not focused on them. Uh, and they're doing petty things. Someone could be doing real petty things around you. Um, I just feel someone's angry. Uh, Four of Swords reverse. Great fortune. Something about we have bad health here. And then we have Four of Swords Reverse, which both feel like bad health. Something could have backfired, and especially if this person is dibble dabbling in some type of lower vibrational spiritual practice, something could have backfired and made someone sick. And it's some, something about this has to do with somebody's money. Somebody here is very greedy. We have unexpected income. They're focused on this wealthy man. Someone's fortune. Someone attributes somebody else being wealthy to them being in bad health. It's like the flow of energy. It's like the fine print is if they don't get the wealth, they, they get sick. This high priestess reverse. Or oh, they're sick. They're sick over something, but someone doesn't love someone. Poverty. Okay, this is definitely about money. We have unexpected income. We have poverty. Great fortune. Wealthy men. King of Pentacles, unexpected income. And then we have death reverse. Someone doesn't want something to end and they're real upset. And there's something about someone's health involved here. And they're angry, they're angry. Poverty, someone's broke. They're not getting what they thought out of this wealthy man. But they're trying to manipulate someone here. They feel sick and they want this money. Or they feel sick because they can't have the money, or they feel sick because something backfired in regards to money. Like the fine print is, is if it doesn't work, the energy has to go somewhere. If something is going in the rightful place, then everything they put out is going back. If it's up, it's stuck. They can't take it back. As a matter of fact, it's backfiring. Two of one, somebody is, um, Courtship reverse. I don't know. Someone's trying to stop two people. Gift. Yeah, this is, belongs to someone. It's in someone's hands. It's like every time you... It's not only just about like raising your vibration or stepping up or getting clearer or making more headway. It's... Feeling at one with everything, feeling in the flow, 
loving yourself, feeling balanced, feeling good, smiling, feeling joyful, feeling relaxed, um, manifesting, being in your North, North Node, living in your soul purpose, um, living in the present tense. It's almost like an act of rebellion when you know that it's like there's someone here um, who hates it so much that you, because it's something about when you're aligned that something seems to blow up and they want to like lower your vibration. That's what I feel. And they could be angry, but they're trying to do something to distract you, I feel like. <clears throat> to lower your vibration. Yeah, this thief is trying to sabotage you. And they're thinking in really mechanistic ways to do it. So it could come across as petty. Um, they've got someone here that's helping them look at something or watch you or try to help them figure something out or look into something about you. Let's see. I feel like it's like whenever you're in the flow, whoever this is goes into some type of a rage. Um, I don't know if they like are reading cards on you or I don't know. Uh, some, they want to knock you off your square and take something from you. Whoever this is, is lonely. Yeah, people can see they're lonely. They talked about you. Something didn't work. There's someone else here that wants you back. Or, uh, something about someone's ego here. Yeah, the, the... Something about information. Someone was trying to dig up information on you and you don't have a bad reputation, but they tried real hard. They hate your patience. That you waited something out or they think you waited something out. There's is something's a little bit comical about it. I don't know if comical is the right word. It's like, you know, the tortoise and the hare. Like a cartoon. Sounds like cartoon music playing and then you cross the finish line and you're just a little turtle with like a flower in your mouth. <laughs> giving money. Something about you, someone giving you money angry about someone giving you money. Maybe this is, um, or you making money with this wealthy man. Um, maybe this wealthy man is like a, yeah, under the deck, extra triggered. Someone is real angry because they, they, it's like they're saying, they said you ain't shit. It's like they, they feel arrogant. They feel like they want to stamp their feet. They said this is what's going to happen and this is how it should be. And it's like, like, like they want to control your life. And they're like having some type of a temper tantrum that someone's not holding grudge towards you. They couldn't find some information or people don't want to participate anymore in something. It's definitely played out. This is a happiness hater doing this. You're too busy winning. You're not focused. You're, they don't want to be ignored. Yeah, they're trying to get your attention somehow. Um, something about losing chances. They, they feel like... Whatever girl fight they've been in with you or whatever kind of competition, they're, they're going to karma. And they feel real threatened by you. They're, they're going to karma for trying to threaten you or block you or whatever they did. S trying to steal from you. Yeah, stalking you. Some kind of a weird... Situation. person wants to knock you off your square. They don't want someone to be into you. They're trying to say you're a wolf in sheep's clothing. 
or like you achieved something in some kind of, uh, of a way that you shouldn't have, but they can't prove it. They're trying to say that you're a bad person. That you, that that's what they're doing. They're trying to dig up something that you did. Something about how you get your money. You, you come across like you're not trying to force something, but you, you get your money somehow in some type of a way and they're trying to prove that you're no good. This stalker is trying to prove you're no good. There's a reason why you're not dealing with some type of financial hardship. Um, my gosh. Player. That's something about you getting involved in the situation. There's some other masculine energy here. Um... Someone and they're trapped. They're trapped. Someone's trapped. There could be someone trapped. Trying to cock block you. They trapped themselves trying to cock block you. The spiritual hater did. Um You're unbo you're unbothered. They can't find whatever it is they need on you. You're unfazed. You're moving on. People are moving on definitely angry. If they don't stop, there's going to be legal issues. So they could be dealing with legal issues. Yeah, bad karma. Whatever this is, is receiving bad karma. And this person likes to pretend a lot about what they have. They could be very pompous. Um, there's something about when, when you... Um... Okay, so they're thinking a lot about this whole situation. They're feeling lonely. Um... They just don't love themselves. They could have gotten caught for doing something fake, a fake account. They could be trying to apologize to someone um, for tripping on you because it's embarrassing. Whatever, something got exposed. Um, whoever this is, or they try to block an offer for you. Um, they're trying to say that they just were stressed when they did it or something like that. They're trying to make excuses for something they did that's really, really terrible. Um, they can't... They try to avoid the subject. They just come across like a drama starter, though, and everyone can see past their uh, fake smiley. This person likes to act very sweet. That's their, um, you know, manipulation tactic. It was... Everybody can see through because they everyone knows what they did. This girl fight is over. People think it has something to do with a romantic affair and that you've been dodging bullets for quite a while. People know that this person has been stalking you. Wow. And there's something about another masculine that wants you back. Um, but th that you're not interested because that this masculine was part of something talking talking badly about you um there's someone here that doesn't want to be ignored this thief they don't want to be ignored by you the scarcity tactics didn't didn't work and you don't seem to be trying to run from them it's like they they feel more important if they can make you afraid or block your your income or make you uneasy or unhappy it makes them feel unimportant if they can't bother you Something about blocking an offer, too. There's something about, they feel like they stole someone that was like a spiritual counterpart or something who they actually feel is like growing from this experience, but that there's also somebody else here heading in your direction. I don't know if they're doing tarot on you or if you're working with someone, maybe you're working with someone or you met this person, this wealthy man. Maybe there's maybe they did a reading about this, or you're 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 dealing with this masculine energy, or you are this masculine energy, um, and you are dealing with someone that you're dealing with this drama starter that wants money from you, that just wants money. But I think that they um, were definitely in competition with a feminine energy. 
if this person doesn't stop, they, I mean, they're already, I feel like there could be a legal case coming up. Somebody here, one of you might end up suing this person for, for you know, or do, doing some kind of a legal thing to like, I don't know, block, stop them from like a restraining order or a lawsuit for, for stalking or defamation or I don't know. Um, for some of you, but they could be dealing with some type of other legal issue. It's just karma. Something about like, this is harassment or something. There could be some, someone trying to do something with a phone, um, or even re recording something about recording. There's definitely something about someone here, maybe a car involved. Definitely. Is there somebody watching? I feel like in some, if you, you already know. You already know um, if if you already feel this, this is confirmation, um, and you know it's you because if you just wish they would s stop, you know that's it. You're not like you're not anxious or in fear if this is you um, about it. You just feel like there's something wrong with these people that they would. I don't know if this is their job or what, what they're, they're, they're just sit there listening or watching or whatever. It's just, you know, you just wish they would move on or go away or, you know, I don't know if they're getting paid or what. You know what? Let's ask a question about those people. Oops. Sorry about that. Let's ask a question about, for some of you, not for everyone, but there's a few of you that have like neighbors that are, um, okay, you're protected, Archangel Michael, you're independent, um, you might live alone, uh, there could be also an investigator that's aware of these people, um, who are constantly, like, laying there a lot, watching you, thinking about you, near you, um, especially some, there's something about when you meditate or sleep. Um, I don't know, there could be something about, they're very committed to this for, for a karmic feminine energy. What do we need to know about these neighbors? Five of Swords, they're, they're gonna lose. They have an uncertain outlook. Things are becoming fair. They're not sure, if they're doing this for money, they're not sure how much longer they're gonna be. They feel like their strength is being tested. That could be why they're angry. They feel like you're this manifester. Um, yeah, you're busy working. Um, they watch you while you work or something. Maybe these are work neighbors, like, at your desk, or this is maybe you at your home. They know that they're part of something that's a lie, and that they could get shamed for this. Yeah, they could get in trouble. They could get in big trouble. Tower, they know it. Um, they feel disillusioned. They're de depressed. Watching you all the time, just depressed. These are stalkers, depressed stalkers. Um, they could deal with, they could have a lot of um, tension in their life, or they could feel competitive towards you. These could be masculine energies competitive towards, they could um, have some type of addictions. They could drink a lot. Um, watching you with your pentacles um, and getting caught, they're going to get caught. They, they're they dealing with a lot of chaos. Um, they, they know they need to walk away or they will be walking away. Death is the outcome for these people. This is, it's over. Um, death is a very serious ending. It's over. Um, whoever's doing this needs to stop. They need to stop. Star Reverse, trying to block your light. Um, trying to stop you from having a new start. There could be a whole group of them that are all kind of like on some type of, 
I don't know what. They're not clear. They're real foggy. This group of people. Rash. They're living in darkness. This is a dark way to live. Um, they're not getting whatever... This Living this way, they're not going to get whatever they think they're going to get with this Queen of Cups. They already know this Queen of Cups doesn't have something that they... Maybe they promised them something. All of them are in anxiety. Um, because they aligned themselves with this Empress Reverse, who um, love-bombed them, charmed them into something, and didn't actually have a plan. There was something about you being heartbroken or something like that that was supposed to pay out, pay out, pay off. That's the truth. The truth is coming out. That includes these people. Um, anybody associated with this High Priestess Reverse, um, they're all, I think they're in regret now. They're going to regret it more. Um, because you have healing energy around you. You have angelic help. You are protected. Um, this Queen of Wands Reverse, this very witchy person or multiple witchy feminine energies are going to go to jail or spiritual jail. Anybody that's involved could go to jail. Trying to work together to block some type of a, um, alliance. And they're going to get sick. Some of them could get sick or they're already sick. But they're going to be out in the cold. That's what's going to happen. The energy, whatever they're putting out, they're going to get back. Um, and you're going to get what you deserve. These people are not protected. They're not spiritually protected doing this to you. Um, a lot of them don't even want to do it anymore. A lot of them see you as very sweet and kind. Um, and that you... It makes them feel... If these are masculine energies, it makes them feel small. It makes them feel small, aligning with this Queen of Pentacles reverse. A lot of them are like kind of working against a feminine energy and it makes them feel less like, you know, it's not for these are masculine energies. This is not like, Emperor reverse. It's like, you know, it's not Bruce Lee over here, you know, it's just not, there's no, no, like, they don't feel good about themselves. Focus in for the superficial feminine energy. They know what they're, they know why. They know why they're doing this. And these people hate their lives. Um, yeah. They feel defeated. Some of them got involved when they, they feel like they got charmed by something. They're still there. I don't know if they, why? Why are they still there? They don't want anyone to know. It's because of this King of Wands reverse. Or because they're ruthless. There's a ruthless masculine energy here. Wow. Devil came out. Wow. <sighs> King of Wands, Devil. King of Wands reverse, Devil. Masculine energy involved. King of Wands reverse devil. This is a ruthless person that's living in a really shadowy way. That's why they're still involved. Or there's a King of Wands reverse that's like obsessed and lit like this person's like obsessed or or bonded to something? Who is this? King of Wands Reverse. Someone that sees you moving on because you have strength. So it's not just this Queen of Pentacles. It's a King of Cups Reverse. They're merciless something about something moving really quickly having to do with unconditional love from the past. 
the deception is being revealed about this person. This is a weird energy. Because of this King of Pentacles, which is right here, wealthy men. King of Pentacles, both in the upright. Yeah, justice is karma is playing out here. Everything is, is being made fair. So, for this, that was very specific. That's not, everyone doesn't have that going on in their environment. It could be at work, whoever these other people are. And I think you know what it is that I'm, I'm talking about. If it's happening to you, whoever these other people are, that's, that's what's going on with them. Um, you know, I guess you could call them flying monkeys, They're like a narcissist, flying monkeys. Um, or some of them are like, I don't know, this has like, some of them, some of them, someone's getting paid to do something, but they're being, um, they're going to, someone's going to go to jail. Somebody else could be <sighs> with that death card. It's over. Yeah, it's over. It's in jail. This could be spiritually stuck. Your angels are saying no. That's the truth. There was something about like constantly disturbing. There was something about you being broken hearted. You recovering from something. And that's there. That's there's something about that. Something to do with like a partnership. And you recovering. So it's like two people here. And there's people who are like not. I don't know, they're in some type of a fog. So I think you know, if this is happening to you, you, you already know. So I don't want anyone to get paranoid that you already 100% you, you know. You know, if this is at your workplace or if this is, you know, your nosy neighbors or whatever this is, like, you already know. Uh, so this is just sort of confirmation of, yeah, let's, something about trying to rob you of your peace or your forward movement forward. And they're still here because there's a masculine energy also involved. And there's like, someone's mad because you're in the flow, even though they're trying to disrupt you all the time. But it's like, these people are tired of it. These people are tired and they don't feel good about themselves and they know they know that they're doing something wrong to someone that they actually find to be a kind person and it doesn't make them feel good about themselves and it's they're not gonna get what they someone is promising them something they're not gonna get it and also um, someone is like something's backfiring energetically because whoever they're doing this to doesn't deserve it and they're protected, they're spiritually protected. And the energy has to go somewhere and it's going back to these people. Um, and it's, I think a lot of them, you know, don't think something about the interaction with you makes them want to be an emperor in the upright, you know? Yeah. So we'll just call them flying monkeys. That's the best I can do to try to explain it. There's like this whole other group. There's like these other people that are involved. Um, and if it's happening to you, you, you know what it is. Because um, it sounds so strange. But what does the collective need to know? that's watching this video about this energy. Um, can I show this? I think I can. Sky, I'll show it this way. Sky expansion. Befriend mind, inner freedom, expand consciousness. Yeah, I feel like you're in this energy and that's what pissed somebody off. 
Yeah. Under the deck, we have true self. Connect to soul. Heed inner guidance. Purify energy. Yeah, this is you. You did something. You aligned yourself or something here, and you're in this real high vibration energy. You're this true self expansion. And there's, that's not the direction that they put these people with so much work into this to steal something from you or something like that. Um, yeah. And the vibe changed here or something and someone's real mad. And whoever this high priestess reverse is, this queen of pentacles reverse, or whoever or how many people are involved, they're not going to get something here. Um, what's going on with that? that outcome here two of wands courtship reverse someone someone's planning something star reverse justice so karma's playing out someone who's trying to like take your place or block your light moon reverse deception is being revealed all of these people hiding, hiding in the background, trying to do whatever this is, they're going to get exposed and karma is going to play out or they're going to end up in the justice system. It has to do with someone from the past or some type of unconditional love. This is so weird, real weird. You're going to have, you love yourself and you're going to have love and you're going to continue having more love and you're going to have new beginnings and love in your life and you're, you're, Good news is coming your way. Um, these people need to move on. All right, we'll leave it there. I was trying to, you know, block your energy in whatever way it is, sabotage you, and you know, distract you, make you feel bad, evil eye, whatever it is. Um, it's the minute you tap into this energy, it makes them angry, and then it's like, you know, it's like someone wants you to go into agreement and just not get into this energy because it's like there are consequences, like trying to teach you that there are consequences. Even in your childhood, you might have had this. There are consequences for feeling good and being aligned. Um, so this is just like a replication of that energy, but you're just not in agreement with it. And you, that's good. Keep going. This is beautiful. Karma's playing out. Someone trying to block an offer. Yeah, they're mad because you're aligning yourself with your gift. What's yours? It's yours. This is your gift. Your true self. You being aligned. And whoever this is, you know, if it's... There's a bully here, a saboteur, or a couple of them trying to make you feel like afraid or like you're in trouble for aligning yourself no no it's not gonna work out they for them they need to stop and ignore ignore i mean obviously be be aware of, of your of your surroundings and be grounded and alert and all that stuff but you're you know you're you're protected and these people, it's going to backfire. We're just trying to block your light and stop you from being your best and self-actualize. It's like the minute the energy shifts, they try to do something to knock, knock you off or teach you a lesson or make you feel like it's never going to end. It's always going to be this way. Every time you get aligned, they're going to do something worse, like punish you for trying to get aligned. Don't, don't uh, worry about this. It's not going to go on forever. Um, this is good. Keep going with this. True self gift. Yeah. You've got that inner authority. you giving yourself this inner authority, reclaiming your, your power. You've been through, you've been through a lot, so, um, spend time in nature if you need to. There's a community of people coming, it's going to be good. Um, yeah, keep going with the flow. 
loving yourself. Yes, getting in and staying in the right mindset. All the stuff you're doing is really good. So anyway, we'll leave it there. If you resonate, I hope it helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.